What's going on guys? It's Ryan here. I'm actually going to be doing the Knight Sword quest to get me, I think it gets you to 29 smithing. And I already talked to the guy in Falador. Now I have to go talk to this guy. And uh, so basically, yeah, this is what I've been working on. I did a lot of fishing while I was studying for finals. And actually, my finals are over now, which is great. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. Um, and condo dwarves. Ah, man, this sucks. This is like my tenth time doing this quest. Oh, what well, shit, what did he say? I really need to start, like, reading this stuff. Southern Peninsula of Asgarnia? Okay. So that's the smithing cape guy. Alright, so let's head to Port Serum. So basically for my last final I did not know anything of what I was doing while I was studying because it's one of those math classes where you have to like prove things. Like I had to prove that one was bigger than zero and that was probably like the hardest math problem I've ever done. Well no, not the hardest but yeah it was pretty hard and yeah, so basically, I looked, all I did to study really was I looked over the last midterm and then I, what's it called? I looked over some of the notes and I probably understood about 10% of what was going on in the class and then that 10% just happened to be on the exam. It was awesome. All right. So yeah, I'm done with finals now. I'm going to be going home. Well, technically it's today. Alright. Let's see. Would you like some red berry pie? Yeah. I'll be going here for my smith and cape eventually. Oh, shit. I really need to start paying attention to what these people are saying in the quest. A picture of the sword. Alright. And I'm doing this all without a quest guide. FYI. It's not... <clears throat> and it really sucks to be doing quests on here, because I don't have them done. I mean, I could be doing quests on Fisher to get comp cape, but I'm, like, really unmotivated to do the quests right now, because A, most of the quests I have to do suck, I have Elemental Workshop 3 and 4, and some other ones. I don't remember what they are, but they all suck. I have, like, literally the entire uh, the Void quest series. Yeah. And, I don't know, like, with these, I'm waiting for these glitches to be fixed. And, oops. And, I don't know, it feels like it's going to be forever before they get fixed. Alright, so if I remember correctly... Oops. Why the hell are the people from... Oh. I don't know. That guy's from... Was it... Walgothic Sleeps? And ROTM, but... Hmm. Wow, I definitely went up the wrong set of stairs. Whoops. No, 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 it's right there. I think. Hmm. Uh, walking, walking, walking. You really get to appreciate your agility level. Alright, so let's go in his bedroom. I'm pretty sure it's in there. Let's hope so. Uh, close the door. Secrecy and shit. Did I get it? So now what should I do? Should I go talk to the guy? I don't know. So let's go back to Port Serum. So basically, in our like race to Max Cape kind of thing, I think I'm behind everyone because I've been studying and fishing, and they've actually been like training skills, I guess. Yeah, Bob has like the highest combat, and he has the most quests done, and 
probably the most money. And then Mike has the highest total. And I'm, I might have the most experience. I don't know, because basically I got home from my final and then just slept. Alright, so this sword. Alright. I think I have to go mine the blur, right? Some blurite ore. Man, I forgot to get the iron. Bloody hell. Might as well get the uh, blurite while I'm here. Hopefully these ice giants and stuff aren't aggressive. I brought some food just in case. How annoying is it that the quest tab you have to like go here to get to it? I don't know like why they don't just put it there. Nobody even cares about the evolution. Uh, oh shit. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Jesus Christ. Oh god. No, go away. No run. That's awesome. Oh, hopefully these aren't aggressive. Oh, they're aggressive. Jeez. Oh, Blurite. There we go. I remember when I was on my skiller, I got a Blurite sword for myself, and it was so cool. Oh, God. Come on, hurry up. Don't cut all day. Right, let's see if I can get a safe spot. Nah, jeez. Alright, is that safe? Safe enough. Can't do that in combat. Can't do that in combat. Alright, so now I have to go to the Grand Exchange and get two iron bars. So basically this weekend, me, Bob, and Mike are going to be dungeoneering like the whole time. And it would be really nice to get a decent dungeoneering level. I think that like with our dungeoneering experience, well, I think I'm probably the best no offense guys but um yeah I think that with my keying skills and then Bob's decent at keying he actually keyed me from like 80 to 100 not 80 to 100 like 90 I guess and then we kind of like won our own separate ways after that and I got 120 and he's still 100 and I actually I learned how to key myself kind of like by what everyone told me and so I would learn how to key and it used to be like oh there's nobody hosting any floors and I would just not dungeoneer and then and then I learned how to key myself and I would host the floors that I needed if nobody else was doing them and then I actually I wouldn't say I got like well known. I guess like people would come and like ask me personally if I was doing floors. <laughs> so after that like 120 DG got a lot easier. And I actually like I was I'm better than Bob was back then because I actually understand like the critical path and stuff a lot better now. But yeah, I think Dungeoneering is like an awesome, awesome skill. It was probably my favorite skill. Um, Slayer's up there. And I think definitely more now that like, with the evolution of combat, it's so much more fun. I've gotten like, a mill Slayer experience on my main since evolution of combat came out and it's just really fun. Alright. Let's see, can he make me a Blurite sword? Nice. Can I wield it? Is it any good? Oh, that looks kinda cool. No, it sucks. Jeez. Alright, let's go back to Faldor. Woo! 29 smithing. Yeah! 534 total, I think that puts me ahead of Bob now. Ooh, 
Look at all the stuff I can smith. Woo. Yeah. Ooh, I can smith some Marmoros stuff. Full Marmoros. Is that like 30 defense armor? I should probably get 30 defense. Hmm. Alright, now let's do my spins. Oh yeah. 3k coins and a games necklace. I'll take it because I don't have any. Ah, oh, jeez, those were some crappy spins. Actually, out of all this money, I've probably made half of it off of spins. It's pretty sad how easy the game is. It's for, like, low-level players, but I guess that's the way they want it. <clears throat> Alright, so now, all I need for 10 plus is 10 prayer. But, since we're going to be dungeoneering a lot, and it's good that, like, we're all, like, low combat, because now all the monsters are going to be low combat when we dungeoneer this weekend. So, I'm going to get 43 prayer with this money that I have. And that'll make dungeoneering a lot, lot easier, especially the bosses and stuff. And I think I'm going to have to either... Uh, I have to check with Mike and see if we can go to house parties and use the um, gilded altars. Or if we have to make our own. Or if I'm going to have to use ectofunctus. Yay! Alright guys, so I just talked to Mike. He does not think that we can use the Gilded Altars, which really sucks, because now I have to do a bunch of quests so that I can get into Port Phasadimus, Phasadimus, I don't know what it's called. So yeah, I'm going to go do those. This was just a quick update video, and yeah, so I will see you guys this weekend, I guess, for our comparison video.